Okay, if you want to install um, Kodi to a USB stick that you can take around with you and have as a portable uh, Kodi device, uh, it's very simple to do with the brilliant OpenELEC distribution. Um, it used to be quite complicated, uh, and um, you know you didn't need to, a couple of USB sticks, and uh, it, it was quite an advanced procedure. But luckily now they create um, disk images, which is much easier to work with. So uh, so with this method, um, you can't plug it directly into your TV. Um, you must be made aware of that. You must have some sort of PC to plug it into. But uh, with this, you can plug a USB stick into any PC you want and um, boot up from it and you'll have your very own portable XBMC Kodi build. Um, first thing you're going to need is the Win32 disk imager, so just Google for that and we're just going to download that. That should take you to SourceForge where that should start to download any second now with any luck. There we go, down in the corner there. So we want to keep that and then we want to go to openelec.tv Now if we scroll down a little bit there should be an option here to download OpenELEC, there we go, and we're going to find a few different versions on here. Um, I'll just very briefly go through what these are. So you've got, if you've got a 64-bit computer, then obviously you've got your 64-bit versions there. Although the 32 uh, bits should work as well. Um, and then we've got the old uh, legacy builds over here. And then you know further down the page you've got got things like Raspberry Pi builds and all kinds of goodies um, but we're going to go back up to the top here because um, we're using a PC version um, normally I would pick that one the stable version um, that is what everyone um, should be downloading but in this case I've got some work to do on an old legacy version I've got some testing to do so I'm going to download that one just for this example um, so let's open the Win32 disk imager we can uh, accept all the agreements and everything. I'm going to create a desktop item for that as well. Um, install that. It doesn't install any bloatware or anything like that, so nothing to worry about. And I'm going to click on Launch 32, uh, Launch Win32 Disk Imager, and it's just this little program here. Okay. Um, you can see down here my USB. Uh, sorry, my uh, my downloaders um, of OpenLEC has finished, so I'm going to click on that, and it will open WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR installed, by the way, uh, you might not be able to open this file. So, um, yeah, this program I'm using here is called WinRAR, and it will automatically open that file. Um, so we just click on Extract. Uh, yep, that's fine. We'll extract it to the Downloads folder because what we want is this file here, which is inside that um, that zip, that compressed image we downloaded. Let's go back to Win32 Disk Imager. The device, um, make sure that is your USB stick and not a local hard drive because this will completely wipe your stick, okay? Um, so just make sure of that. Um, we can check in here. There we go, the removable disk E. Um, so that's good. I know that's my USB stick and then we've got, we've got other, the, my local drives there which we don't want to touch. So that's great. Um, and then all we've got to do is find that file. So it's in that open elect folder and there it is there. Brilliant. So we've got the file name there, we've got the device set up correctly and all we do is click on write. Are you sure? And it'll give you a warning that you know you could corrupt the device and you know you'll certainly lose the information on it. Um, if you're absolutely sure, click yes, and that is it. It's as simple as that. And all you need to do then is boot up the PC, and um, you need to boot from USB. So normally, um, it's it's a button like F11 to uh, bring up the the uh, boot screen, and um, and choose to boot from USB. But uh, different devices do vary, different PCs vary, different BIOSes vary, so um, you may have to check your manual for that. But, so like I say, it's usually something like along the lines of F11 or you can press delete and actually get into the BIOS and tell it to boot from USB in there. Um, right, so I'm just going to stop there and um, I'm going to uh, try and show you what it looks like once you boot up from your PC. Okay, I'm just booting up my laptop now. 
and uh, I'm booting it up and I was just pressing F12 there to get into the boot menu. I know I previously said um, it was F11 in this guide. I'm fairly certain that some devices it is F11. Uh, on this particular one, it happens to be F12. Uh, so you should get a boot menu like this that you know asks you where where you want to boot from, which device. So you can see there I've got a USB stick, which is the one that um, I installed the install uh, files to that we just done. And I've got another one there, which is just a blank USB stick, and um, and basically the the USB stick we just made, we need to it's it's just like a Windows install disk basically. Um, so we need somewhere to copy those files to. Um, so in this case, I'm using another USB stick, which is that blank one there, which is just an eight gig USB stick. You could use an SD card or um, you know, or you could uh, install it directly to your hard drive or an external hard drive. You can install it wherever you like, but um, in this case, I'm using an 8 gig USB stick. Uh, before going into this and booting up, one thing I will mention is I'm just going to go into my CMOS setup, and you'll see that over here on this particular system, I've got the option for um, operating system optimized defaults. Now that was on Windows 8 64-bit um, because I'm running Windows 8. Um, I found on this particular device I needed to choose other operating system, otherwise it didn't work. So uh, let's uh, exit, and I'm just going to uh, fully switch it off again. And we start up again doing the F12 trick. There we go. Um, and you just keep pressing it, by the way, F12, just keep pressing it until it comes up because it is, uh, some systems are quite fast and it's easy to uh, not press it in time. Um, so, okay, we've got that stick there. I'm going to click on that and it should load up. If you get an error, um, just uh, Make sure you've got those operating system um, defaults set up properly, and, and uh, you may possibly require to uh, shut down and start up again after making those changes. Okay, so you get a warning, um, and then we get uh, this menu here. We just want the quick install of OpenELEC. Now, this is very important. Um, it will ask you which device you want to install it to. Now, that top one is my local hard drive with all my content on. I would be very upset if I accidentally wiped that. So be careful, make sure you choose the right device. So I'm going for that one there, which is my eight gig USB stick. I'm gonna click okay. It'll give you some warnings. We'll go through that, yes. Yes, and it gives you a final chance um, to exit, but I'm going with that. And now you'll find that that's just gonna copy over all of the files needed and um, and once done, that's it. Uh, you, you have a portable USB stick of uh, OpenELEC all ready to go. And I must apologize for the poor video quality here. I, uh, I am sorry about that. Um, for some reason, uh, my video capture isn't working in conjunction with uh, my laptop. So, um, so we've had to do it on the phone, this part of the tutorial. But, um, but hopefully you'll get the gist of it. Um, and by the way, I'm, I'm using uh, USB 3.0 sticks here um, so it, it may be slightly quicker than uh, than you have on your particular device depending on the speed of the stick you'll use it okay um, I'm going to um, stop that now and then we'll um, I'll just show you what it looks like when you boot up with the new stick oh actually no need it's already done so um, I'm going to take out this install USB stick I'm going to leave the other one in there and I'm just going to go to reboot. And now, again, I'm going to press the F12 to bring up that menu. And there you can see the USB um, one that we've created. You could have left the install disk in, but uh, to save uh, confusion, that's why I've taken it out. So I don't accidentally press the wrong one. So I'm going to click on that. And now if everything's gone to plan, we should now have a lovely USB stick that you can plug into any PC you want 
with your own portable version of OpenELEC. And there you go, it's starting up. It's very quick to boot. And there, there you are, uh, we're in. It's all set up. Um, you know, you can change, change all your settings here, go through it all, but very, very quick and um, very useful. Okay, um, hope you found that guide of some help. Thanks for watching.